Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to Pimp My Panasonic G7. Yes, this is my Panasonic Lumix DMC G7. It's a 4K capable camera. In fact, it records video almost as good as the Panasonic GH4 that I'm recording this very video with. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some extra pieces of kit so you can get the most out of your Panasonic G7. So let's start by taking a look at the Panasonic G7 camera itself. Now this is a 4K capable camera. It records 4K resolution video, 100 megabits per second. I'm using it in combination with the kit lens, which is a 14 to 42 millimeter kit lens. The camera itself has got a micro four thirds sensor. It's got a microphone input, and it's got pretty much every setting you need to manually control the camera whilst you're recording video. The tripod that we're using to create a stable base for the G7 is a combination of two components. The Manfrotto 190 Go aluminium four section tripod with twist locks is a very stable base. Its closed size is just 45 centimeters and it weighs just 3.74 pounds. It's fully adjustable and the new twist locks allow for easy opening and closure of all the sections at once with a single hand. On top of all this, we've got a medium sized Manfrotto Pro video head Product code MVH502AH. Now this actually has some really nice features. It supports up to four kilogram max capacity, which is plenty for the G7, even when you combine it with larger lenses. But it's also got a four kilogram counterbalanced weight and a very clever fluid drag system. And this allows you to achieve very smooth pans when you're shooting video. Now to make presenting our videos a lot easier, I'm going to be using an iPad Air 2, and this can be used for two different uses. One for either reading notes or a script, or two for actually connecting to the Panasonic G7 via Wi-Fi and using it as a larger preview screen. Now to mount this to the tripod, I'm using an Editor's Key Studio Series iPad holder. This is a very sturdy bracket, which is fully adjustable with a ball head on the back, and this just simply clamps to the center column of the tripod. Now to top this all off, we really need to improve the audio that's gonna accompany our video footage. In fact, audio is a very key component to the effectiveness of any video that you produce. There are numerous options available. I've been using the Rode VideoMic range for many, many years. The Rode Stereo Video Mic Pro was the obvious choice for this rig, and it performs exceptionally well. Okay, this is super exciting stuff because this is how the rig looks when it's completed. We've got the Manfrotto 190 Go tripod on the bottom there. And then as we come up to view the iPad Air 2, this is actually mounted using the Editor's Keys Studio Series iPad holder, which could be used to in fact mount any tablet. It doesn't have to be an iPad Air 2. And we've also got the video head, which I'll show you in a little bit more detail in a short while. And then right on the very top there, we've got the Panasonic G7 with the Rode Stereo Video Mic Pro on top. Now at the moment, the iPad Air 2 is connected via Wi-Fi to the Panasonic G7. So I could have this front facing if I was presenting to the camera, but for this demonstration, let's just move the G7 round using that really nice fluid head and we can get my little Nintendo Amiibo characters in view. And we've got a nice screen here for framing our shots. We can check that everything's framed properly. We can change things like exposure compensation. We can change the uh, video modes. We can change the ISO, the white balance, etc. We can check everything's in focus, so we can tap to focus in on an area. We can start the recording. So the video you're seeing now is actually being recorded with the Panasonic G7. We can pan around using this nice fluid head, very, very good control over the video. We can even move around to my subscribe pillow there. Very, very good quality 4K video produced by the Panasonic G7. And all the time this is recording, obviously, we've got this front facing screen, a much larger screen than the built in articulating screen on the G7 so we can actually uh, see what's happening and what's framed correctly. And indeed, if I had the camera front facing, obviously you'd see me in frame here. Now, the other thing that we can use the iPad for, so if we're happy with using the articulating screen to see what's going on, 
we can actually use the iPad Air 2 or indeed your tablet of choice for just making some notes. Maybe it's a full script or maybe it's just some sort of bullet point reminders about what you want to speak about during your video. And then we can have the actual screen doing the video preview. So you can see me here in the screen. Let me just focus on me. So I'm being previewed in the small screen up here on the Panasonic G7. And then we've got the iPad here for reading back notes. So I wanted to show you this video head in a bit more detail because this is really an integral part of your setup. It's going to allow you to achieve those smooth panning shots when you're recording video or indeed when you've got it in a stationary position, it's going to give you a really stable platform to record video. Now this has got a fluid drag system. So the fluid head can be adjusted for different resistances. So I can increase the resistance by turning it this way. This makes it harder to move the camera or I can indeed loosen this off and decrease the resistance so I can move the camera more freely. And the same applies to the up and down movement. Now at the moment I've got this set to sort of automatically return the camera to a level position. So I can move the camera perhaps down to this position here and then when I let go, the fluid head drag system will actually use that four kilogram counterweight to bring the camera back down automatically into a level position. It's a fantastic piece of kit and works extremely well. So I'm sure you'll agree that this is a pretty awesome setup. Now, of course, I could have included a more expensive screen. I could have included a more elaborate and again, more expensive audio setup, but I wanted to keep the cost of the products that I've shown you relative to the cost of the Panasonic G7 camera itself. Now, if you add any of these products to your particular setup, I'm sure you will increase the production value of your own videos. I'll leave links to all of them in the video description. If you've enjoyed this video, as always, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I'll see you all again in another video very soon.